Tell me if this sounds familiar to you right now, today, October 3rd, 2018. If this sounds familiar to you, watch the rest of this video. Like right now, you're kind of fed up. You're sick of being shopped. You're sick of leaving message after message, doing outbound follow-up calls, or possibly to a point where you don't even want to do outbound calls anymore, and you're probably getting sweated by your manager for not having enough talk time or have it, not having enough outbound calls. And there's reason for it. We've justified it as salesmen in this market. It's because we are upset with the messages just simply not being returned. They're not being answered. They're not, you know what I mean? They're, we're being dodged and we know it, right? Like we can even call with that star six, seven trick. If you guys don't know what that is, star 67 blocks your number, right? Like you're calling from your cell phone, star six, seven, one, the area code, and then the number, you're going to come up as a caller unknown. And so even they're, they're even dodging that right and they're not responding back to text and and we're getting fed up we're getting done with this chase but more importantly when we engage with our prospects now and we get we work towards that pitch we'll look towards our clock or we'll get the sudden hint of resistance or an objection or uh, something that triggers within our mind that makes us already believe that there's no way this person's gonna buy this person's all about free costs and all about the lowest rate that just simply is not going to be available today. This person is just not going to buy. And so ultimately what it does is it starts to weigh on our confidence. And there is something important about confidence in sales, so much so that when we get up to the point of, of pitching, we already are going into the pitch like, oh man, there's, this person's not even going to buy. I'm wasting my time. I might as well rush through this because I got 999 fires to put out and then I just got assigned to this processor. <laughs> right? Like, does that sound familiar to you? You just, you you got all the weight on you and, and it's hard to dig yourself back out and you might just be on this, this streak of, of getting beat up, not physically beat up, but like mentally beat up, financially beat up. And I got a few tips for you that's really going to help turn the momentum around. It's really going to help you gain back control of your day and grab that bitch by the horns. And I, I, I think that there couldn't have been a better time for it to come than right now because we're going into the holiday season where a lot of our consumers are really going to start throwing us those excuses of, oh, I'll just get to it after the holidays or, oh, call me after you know Thanksgiving and then finally call them after Thanksgiving. Oh, I got family in town. Call me after Christmas and then you call them after Christmas. Christmas. Oh, we'll just do this in the new after the new year, and so then it just becomes this this roller coaster of of of, a, of an effect that just eventually snowballs into this just big ball of frustration. If that sounds familiar to you, and you're going through it right now, I want you to know it's not your fault. It is only human nature. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of salesmen, let alone loan officers, are going through it right now. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. And so I'm going to share with you a couple tips on how to get past that. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. Before I go into the topic of this video, let me explain why I believe my two cents should be of some value to you. You know, I've been in sales in general just for, for about 20 years now. As a loan officer and as a mortgage banker, I currently am positioned as a producing sales manager. So that means, you know, not only do I manage a team, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm in the trenches still originating. So my, my skills are still very sharp. <laughs> you know, it's not something that I used to do. Like, hey, back in 2006, I'm not one of those dudes, right? And although I can offer you the experience and the knowledge and the know how from how the market was back then what's more important what's more unique about my two cents or my feedback and my input is that it works today and so as i mentioned today's october 3rd wednesday 2018 and i think i just announced some of the very common characteristics or at least frustrations and pain that we're feeling right now there's a challenge working as a loan officer whether you're in the field or you're in a call center you're going through these challenges as some some way or another and i want to share with you a few tips that are going to help you turn around that uh that negative momentum that you're experiencing right now. And my first tip is you have to understand that that sales is not a sprint. Meaning, you know, I think that we are wired because of the way our managers take our commitments and the way we're 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 kind of gauged and measured. We're measured on a month to month basis. Are we not? Not only that, but our commissions are measured on a month to month basis. And so we kind of get in this cycle where we we look at everything in months. <laughs> it, 
right? And so we sometimes forget that there is going to be another month. There's going to be another month after that, after that, after that, after that. And when we get into the the hustle and grind of things, just the overall process, that's that cyclical process, we forget to take a step back and look at things from a broader angle. Meaning that for instead of like a, a month, you could look at it for the quarter. Instead of the quarter, you could look at it for the year. Instead of the year, you could look at it for the, the three to five year window. And sometimes we forget to look at that because we, in today's society, 2018, we have we have grown to become more impatient, and it's not our fault. Technology has enabled us to become impatient. We want something, we could just push a button and get it. If, if we got a couple extra dollars, we can get it by tomorrow, <laughs> right? We just have the convenience, and so naturally, this has bred this characteristic within us to become impatient. So it's not your fault. But I want you to understand that sales in itself is not a, a sprint. It really is a marathon. There's a saying that says, and, and I, I put it on a, a meme, that the game of life is, is, is not a game of checkers. It's chess. And it took me a while to, 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 um, to really understand what that meant. And so I kind of remixed and I said, you know what, this, the sales game is not a game of checkers, it's a game of chess. And ultimately what it means is a positioning. It's all about your position. It's all about thinking a couple steps ahead. Now let me put this in an example so you can execute this upon yourself today. So when we engage into a conversation, we have to realize how we're positioning ourselves because if we're positioning ourselves in a negative way, meaning through our tonality, the words that we use and the energy that we bring, we are unknowingly, unbeknownst to us, we are affecting the end result. The sale starts from hello. It literally does. And, and it's because when, when we engage with a consumer or a prospect for the very first time, we have to accept that they're going to be on guard. And, and if we choose to accept that they're going to be on guard, we're not going to become as defensive when we hear the slightest hint of resistance. Or when they hit us with an objection, we're not going to, be, we're not going to push back because we understand that within the first 30 seconds of that call or the first minute of that call, they are judging us. Now, I know the popular saying is, don't judge, you know, only God could judge me. You know, hey, I'm a Tupac fan, of, just like you. But at the end of the day, it is natural for humans to judge each other. We do it all day long. We just judge. That's just what we do. And that's our comfort zone. And we judge, th we judge books by the cover all the time. We judge things based on the experiences that we had or we've had in the past. And so I want to share with you that our prospects are doing the same thing and when we are at least aware enough to realize that we're being judged then we can adapt and be judged in, a, in any way we want but subconsciously because we are frustrated or we're kind of burnt or we have these doubts that we justify and we kind of think like oh man this person isn't worth my time or we think to ourselves oh man this person's never gonna buy you know we are actually anchoring ourselves and we're putting doubt within our tonality that actually conveys and, 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 and goes from us and we transfer that energy to them. And so when you think about buying something, whether it's a high ticket price or it's, it's something free, right? The free service. What we do still is we judge. Like, think about it. Like, if, if someone, you know, if you see an advertisement that says, hey, come get your free blah, blah, blah. We're judging. Like, is this a scam? <laughs> <laughs> right and it's because it because that's just the way we act as consumers and so positioning is very important but not only because I I've, I've given a lot of content about positioning I've said this before you know sales is 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 not chess it's ch I'm sorry sales is not checkers it's chess and and I what I believe is that there are two ways to take that the most common way is is way number one which is which is positioning just to do the application right or position yourself to do a successful sales pitch or position yourself to you know make a, an initial sale but what i actually mean <laughs> is you're positioning yourself to build yourself a relationship and let me elaborate on that because i think that when you discover oh that's what you mean then you ultimately are thinking not only a couple steps ahead but you're thinking years ahead now imagine how powerful that would be Imagine if you did not have to resort to relying on your company for leads. 
Imagine if you did not have to resort to dealing and chasing with Mr. Patel for that 3.99 he wants in a market that can only yield a 5.99. Imagine being so self-efficient that you have this sense of confidence and security knowing that in any market, any market, regardless of how high the rates are, how high the costs are, how bad your reputation is or recognition or how low your recognition is, that you will prosper. That's powerful, right? That's freedom. And I know this is possible because I hold it today. My team holds it today. We're rocking the number one spot in the entire company for a reason, boo-boo. And this is why. It's because when we initiate and engage with our prospects, we're not only thinking of that sale, we're thinking of serving. We're not, we're not trying to sell, does that make sense? We literally are coming off as a genuine helper. We are genuine problem solvers. And, and, and because we position ourselves in that way, we don't come off as salesmen. So sales, the sale actually comes to us. We don't even need to ask for the sale, boo-boo. They want to give us the business. And here's the thing, here's the tricky thing is that it's, it, our method is it contradicts so much of the mainstream suggestion right like your your sales trainer your sales manager everything you know about sales right now Grant Cardone or whatever influencer you're hearing about sales right now is talking about be aggressive be aggressive be be <laughs> aggressive no boo boo if you're aggressive like you, you're gonna actually push a lot of people away you, you, you catch more bees with honey you ever hear that and ultimately what that means is that that stop selling bro like serve like serve a solution and be genuine about it you see when we're not genuine about it and we, when we are more in internally focused it comes off in our tone and you could tell you're internally focused because you get frustrated you snap back at your prospect like it's their fault that you got wood in your pipeline boo boo that's you that's you man like it's their bad that you got that you got this processor to to combat with on the back end they have no idea who that process is. they have no idea who you are most of the time they got they don't care about your your rough morning they don't care about your burnt coffee with with grains in it that ain't their problem <laughs> but because we will wear our heart on our sleeve we'll sometimes allow that to affect our engagement and thus it comes out in our tonality and thus ruins the experience of that relationship and does not position ourselves to create a long-term relationship and so you have to be aware of these things because it, when you become aware and when you discover how to become aware, you will actually serve so much value in, 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 in an experience that your prospect will love. I'm talking about love like you know I'm not saying just love because like they're gonna buy from you what I'm talking about and what allows my team to win is we deliver an experience that that the prospects sh have a great tremendous amount of gratitude for because they em they feel it emotionally and and because we ab we're able to deliver in a way that that really puts in their eyes this life-changing event right like oh my god this is the answer like have you ever had that feeling like someone's showed you something that you've been doing it the hard way the entire time and then someone shows you the easy way to do it and you're like oh, are you serious that's all i've had to do all these years like there's that that feeling right and and i think that we have mastered it we have mastered the ability to relay the sense of relief and 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 pleasure right that not only that but do it in such a craftful way where those that we engage with that become our clients do not feel like they were sold you see we're not selling it in an aggressive way we're selling it in a way that actually is easy to understand and that that involves positioning when you understand this this method that that whatever you're going through right now, whether you feel frustrated or you feel like you know, like like you're 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 just putting out one big fire, you have to back up. The best thing that you could do is really detach yourself from the situation. Go walk outside. Go meditate. Go take a day off. You are actually worsening your position. You are making everything worse by going in not fully ready, not fully committed. Does that make sense? So when you like just when you engage with a lead, if you're not fully ready to to establish a long-term relationship or you're not on the same page of of actually delivering an experience that is going to foster a relationship where they give you referrals they give you a review not only that but they're coming back to you in six to twelve months to do business with you again you're 
you're missing out on a great opportunity and it sometimes it's all because of the positioning of your point of view and the positioning of your point of view unfortunately is just on a month to month basis so you start from from the beginning of the month and you sprint all the way to the end of the month and then you got to redo it all over again when we sometimes forget that those that we book or those that we help this month will be our clients again in 6 to 12 months if we do everything right if we have enough patience and, 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 and handle that situation with the right attitude in the professional manner, that person is going to be so grateful, they're going to leave you a review. And that review becomes what? It becomes social proof, right? And it becomes, it becomes this, it becomes the root of helping you build long-term business. That's the basic fundamentals. And, and I know it sounds like common sense, right? But there are key actions in order to deliver this experience. So do you want to know how? Do you want to know the answer of how to never find yourself or you're relying on your company for leads? Do you want to know how to never find yourself or you're sweating money? Do you want to know how to never find yourself again to where you're sitting up at night worried about like oh man am I gonna make money next month man should I should I jump ship should I go join this company oh man that two thousand dollar guarantee sounds nice but then I gotta start all over like man if you if you are if you're wasting time on on juggling those thoughts right now I've got the perfect solution for you you know go to salesremaster.com there's a there's a digital training program it's called bankers formula to six figures get that and it'll show you everything that you need to know in order to build a successful career in mortgage banking whether you're new intermediate or even seasoned go get that course not only will it pay for itself but it's going to pay for itself in tenfold 10x and continuously pay for itself see here's the thing because I know that some of us are are in that position right now, right? Like, oh man, money's tight, bro. Like, I've been, I've been fucking made a lot of money. I got the holiday season, and there's there's all these reasons that that we use to justify ourselves. But it's kind of like going to the gym. No one really wants to go to the gym. Like, everyone wants the result of the gym, but no one really wants to go through the process, right? And it's the same thing here. Like, everyone wants the result of the training program, but no one really wants to invest money into themselves. It makes no sense. <laughs> but especially when it comes to a point where you're investing in yourself is the best investment you can ever have. Not your 401k, not that stocks and bonds, not Vanguard, bro. Like invest in yourself because it is you that is the ship that's going to take you wherever you want to go. Anyway, if you go to salesmaster.com, look at Banker's Formula, and if you're having tight money issues right now, do this. Download the sales script. It's at the bottom of the, of the homepage at salesmaster.com. Download the sales script. Make sure you get a copy. Use your personal email address. On that sales script, on the bottom left-hand corner, there's going to be two social emblems, two social media emblems, LinkedIn and Facebook. Don't use the Instagram. Don't use the Snapchat. Don't use the YouTube. Use only the LinkedIn or the Facebook. And I'm, I'm saying this right now as a special to you because you're 17 and a half minutes into this video and this special is for you. If you use those two social medias and if you add me to your LinkedIn or you go to the sell, uh, Facebook page of Sales Master and hit me through the DM, this is the only way you're going to get this opportunity. Hit me through the DM and say, hey man, I saw the video. I really want to get the course. Can you help me get it? And I'm going to show you how to get it at a much cheaper cost much cheaper cost so that way you could start winning today but there's a process i just announced the process now the choice is up to you right because a lot of people are gonna be like oh man i gotta do a lot of steps that's where you're going wrong boo boo or you some of you be like oh man i ain't got a linkedin page that's where you're going wrong boo boo <laughs> like, like there's steps involved bro you can't just be you know what i mean like you can't feel entitled or or desire that lifestyle and you don't even have the steps to even get there well, if anything, this is going to give you the steps to get there. And so if you decide to go there and if you decide to unlock your destiny, then I'm going to be on the other side waiting for you, bruh. I appreciate the time that you've taken and I hope that this video has helped you. If this is your first time watching Sales Remastered, click the subscription button, hit the bell so that way you're notified of the topics that I have coming up and it's going to notify you. It's going to say, yo, boo-boo, <laughs> Sales Remastered just dropped a topic on how to avoid... Uh, burnout or how to avoid frustration or how to not want to quit or how to sell more loans all this helpful content to help give you your boost in the day and while you're there check out the reviews on Facebook and also LinkedIn so you can learn a little bit about me and my credentials and see that I got nothing to hide I'll see you there bye let me show you everything I know a jungle slide.